Now we begin here in Columbia as Allen University now says they're planning to restore the Carver Theater in downtown Columbia. Peyton Lewis has more on the history of the theater and what it means to the community. Jean Hopkins has lived in Columbia for more than 90 years now. And although she sometimes can't remember what she did last Tuesday, <laughs> she will always remember visiting the Carver Theater as a little girl. The movies were a lot of fun. See, I could get in for a nickel. The theater on Hardin Street was built in 1941 and showed movies, hosted performances, and served as an entertainment hub for Columbia's black community. Eric Friendly with Historic Columbia says the building is a sacred space for those who have enjoyed it over the years. Yeah, it was a safe space. It was a place where people could, um, you know, go freely and not feel pressure, um, you know, from the discriminatory laws that, um, were in the South at that time. However, the theater closed in 1971 and changed hands to owner Julius Murray. The theater stayed open over the years, eventually serving the Agape Church and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. The building was eventually sold to Allen University to be used as an auditorium, but now they plan to restore the theater to its former glory. Hopkins says she would be thrilled to see the theater as it once was when she was a child. It would be something that would, 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 would bring back history in the first place, and then it's in the community. We want cover theater to work, and we were very, very proud of it. Now you know, now you know I'm happy, right? I run out of that house and I don't even miss a beat running up the street to get to the Carver Theater. Allen University says they're still in the preliminary planning stages for the building, but hope to make it something for the community to reminisce and enjoy. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. And Allen University says they want to reopen the theater within a year and a half. It will serve as a first-run cinema and will also be used for local meetings, presentations, and other entertainment.